What is up queens? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting into my luxury handbag collection. Now, I'm just gonna, excuse me, can you not? I have the dog with me because we're best friends. <laughs> okay, so what I was saying was I only have six bags currently in my collection, um, but I'm a handbag girl. I love a good handbag. I have what I would consider high street handbags, you know, Coach, uh, Henry Benzel, which is no longer made, um, uh, Marc Jacobs, other bags like that. But these are my luxury designer handbags. So I've got my eye on a few more that I really, really want in my collection. But these are the six that I have right now. And I figured why not share them with you guys. So before we get into the video, please like, comment and subscribe so that we can get to 1000 queens on this channel. That is my goal for the next few months is to get to 1000. So help me get there. Okay, guys, let's get into it. My Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Bandoulier in the Damier Azur print. So this is a Louis Vuitton Speedy. It is the Damier Azur, which is this kind of gray, some people say blue. I say it's like a gray cream uh, checkerboard print. Now this is the Bandoulier because it is the style that comes with the band here. So you can wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. I bought myself probably six or so years ago the 35 in the monogram regular not bandolier. I ended up selling that bag and I'm not gonna lie I really regret selling it even though I never used it because um it was just so big I, and it was top handle it wasn't really my style I do wish that I would have kept that bag but I replaced her with this one this bag at the time re retailed for like around the 1300 mark or around the like the 1430 mark um i do know that louis vuitton recently has had some i know every year or every few years or something like that they do do a price increase so i will leave links to all of these bags or at least all of the bags that are available and information in terms of dimensions and whatnot but this bag would be the oldest bag in my collection right now and not oldest bag it's the first bag that i bought of these bags in my collection and i would say if you guys are stuck between if you're getting your first speedy and you're stuck between a bandolier or a uh, a regular speedy I would say a lot of people will say get the regular because it's the classic and I agree with that it is the classic but also you have to look at your lifestyle and if you know that you don't like holding a bag you like a crossbody or a shoulder bag situation then get the bandolier because you're going to use it more when I got this bag I exclusively used it for probably that first year it was a great investment piece I think a speedy never goes out of style it's always i mean i can keep this bag and give it to my daughter in 20 or 30 years you know what i'm saying so it's just it's a classic a speedy is a classic it will always be a classic then out of these bags i purchased the vintage fendi i believe zuka shoulder bag this is that bag now i was able to get this you'll never believe i got this bag for i want to say 225 dollars or something like that actually i might stop with the price tag in here do i yes i got this bag for 275 dollars um this is the fendi zucchino shoulder bag this bag um came from what goes around comes around but the Dillard's here in Orlando has a program where they get bags from what goes around, comes around, vintage bags, and they resell them. So I was able to get this bag through Jill, the vintage director at the Florida Mall Dillard's location. I've worked with her for a few bags. I got my, my Speedy from her, and she has this red 
Fendi baguette bag, this leather baguette bag that is so carried Bradshaw to me. I need that bag. But this was the next bag of these bags that I purchased. I really liked the shoulder bag. I liked that it clearly is a vintage bag, right? Like this is not new Fendi. You see and you know it's not new Fendi. This is like 2000s and 90s Fendi. And just like in white with this bag, I just couldn't even... I couldn't pass it up. I had to get this bag. So like I said, for only $275, why would I not get it? What's funny is when I saw this bag, I actually sent a photo of it to Melissa Sildera, who's like the Fendi queen. And she was like, girl, you have to get that bag. Like that bag is marvelous. You have to get that bag. And I was like, if Mel Sildera said to get it, then get the bag. So I got this bag and I used it a ton. I just keep it in this, um, in this Fendi dust bag when I'm not using it because it, it's not leather, even though I should keep all of my bags and dust bags, but I don't. It's not leather, it's uh, material. So I really wanna kind of keep it keep it safe from like other things. But this is the second bag in my Lux bag collection. I really have kind of realized that I'm a Fendi girl. I love a Fendi bag. Fendi and YSL are like my favorites. Then I got this Louis Vuitton. This is the Florentine belt bag PM. Uh, you guys have seen this on my channel before. This too was a, um, a second hand purchase. I bought this from Decos. Actually, my mother bought this from Decos, but she couldn't fit her phone in it. She likes to carry everything plus the kitchen sink. So I took it. Um, super cute little belt bag. It's The strap is actually too big for me. It's a, what size is it? I know it says it on here somewhere. I think it's a medium large. I would need a small medium. Honestly, I would probably need like an extra small small. I don't even know if they make that. But I usually just will tie it in a knot around my waist. And I think it adds something really cute to every look. Uh, you know, like jeans, uh, a black tank top, a black bodysuit, a white oversized shirt, anything. And then you just tie this around your waist and it looks so, so good. I've worn it with dresses. I've worn it with shorts before. I can't really, I can't fit my phone in here either. But when I use this bag, I usually just put in there uh, a lip gloss for the day, my Louis Vuitton card holder, which is super small. Um, sometimes I can fit my keys in there if I do just like my car key and my house key and take them out of my... Um, I have a Louis Vuitton six ring key holder that I have my keys in. Uh, but if Jeff is driving, then I don't I don't need my keys either. Um, and then depending on my sunglasses, I can usually get sunglasses in here without the case. Um, like I'll, I can fit my Versace sunglasses in here, those like little cat eye ones that you guys have seen before. So I actually don't know how much uh, this was purchased for because like I said, my mother purchased it and then I took it from her. But this is the third um, purchased bag in my collection. That's just like, it's so cute. Like that bag is just everything. And it's in superb condition. So good. I keep this one in the dust bag. The little Louis dust bag. Then, it would be this Louis Vuitton black epi leather Bucci shoulder bag. This bag has up here is, is leather, but inside is suede lined in that gray suede. It's a magnetic closure. It has gold hardware. Like I said, it's epi leather. So the only thing on here that lets you know that it is a Louis Vuitton bag upon sight is this little Louis stamp here. However, when I'm wearing this bag, usually like, People aren't that close to me. So this is kind of one of those bags where it's like, if you know, then you know. And if you don't know, then you think it's just a black leather bag, which is, you know, it's very cute. Um, again, this was another bag that my mother purchased. She purchased this bag because it is vintage. This bag is no longer made. She purchased it a few years ago from Fashion File and maybe used it once one night out and then uh her and my dad were moving and i was helping her set up her closet and she threw this box into the garbage uh pile and i was like that was kind of heavy something is in there and she was like no nothing is in there and i opened up the box and it was this bag in the dust bag and i was like mom like you were about to throw away a vintage louis vuitton bag like she didn't even know she had it so i was like i'll take it <laughs> i'll love on it sure so I have, I carried this bag quite a few times. Um, yeah, I love this bag. Like, I think it's very cute. It's very, like I said, understated. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't. There's no outside packages. 
oh i can get that off um and then you know it has good it has good space for i can fit in here sunglasses a wallet or a card case um my key holder depending on how my if i need my keys or not or from you know sunglasses in a case or not i can do my entire louis vuitton pm makeup bag in here this bag is great it, it really can fit all of the essentials that you need i think she got this bag for 830 dollars if i can find another one i will link to it um but yeah i'm fairly certain this bag was 830 before uh shipping taxes and all of that and it's super cute so then the next bag that i purchased <laughs> was the e saint laurent lulu toy bag i followed this bag for like years and um i was always obsessed with it and then i you know jeff said that i could get myself a little something nice last year is it yeah 2020 and i bought this bag so it was between this and the patent leather vicky bag the medium the medium the mini vicky bag in red patent leather and i ended up getting this bag um so this leather is extremely lush it's extremely like bendy it has that gunmetal silver hardware and it's divided into two compartments so i have done i think two videos now on this bag an original what's in my bag video and then i did a one year review just a few months ago and i mean this bag is just if you are looking to get a ysl bag or a mini bag period that is a luxe brand bag i highly highly suggest this one i want to get this bag in more colors and then there's like three other ysl bags that are on that are on my current wish list we'll say um i have like three ysl bags and like two fendi bags on that on that list um but this bag is so good so this one retailed when i got it for like 11.90 now i think it's 12.90 and then depending on what leather you get and this is for this mini size depending on what leather you get i've seen them i was on the ysl website just about two days ago and i saw it for i want to say like 14 something so i think that's depending on the leather the hardware and all of that but i will leave the link to this exact one below in case any of you guys want to grab it um it is it's a really good bag like i said it's perfect for date night is perfect for the day like if i'm carrying it during the day i'll do a crossbody like this and i kind of showed you guys in my one year review if it's date night and i want to make it a little bit more you know sexy i'll double the strap in there like that and carry it as a top handle with a short strap you can also purchase a bag strap like the hrh collection bag chains and give it a completely different look because this strap does remove itself so i guess you could technically even use it as a clutch i've never done that and i'll probably never do that but it is an option so that's a good thing to know it's a really versatile bag and i mean as, as long as you're not carrying like trying to carry an extra long large wallet and like a makeup bag and like five pairs of sunglasses 14 lip glosses three wallets your keys and like a diaper you're gonna be good definitely definitely a good investment piece and then the last of my well technically i have some vintage gucci bags in there but i don't one of them is more like a makeup bag that i use as a clutch and the other one is like luggage that i use as like a tote so i'm not including those so the last bag would be my newest purchase. I just bought this bag probably in February and this is the Fendi Kanai Medium Swirl Bag. Now it's really just technically the Fendi Kanai Medium Bag but because this one has the swirls, this is considered the swirl bag. I purchased this bag for, it was, I wanna say $845 on Rebag but this specific swirly Kanai actually retailed for 3500 so I don't know why it was so inexpensive but it is authentic it was authenticated there's no scratches there was virtually and like physically nothing wrong with this bag so I got it for a steal um I don't know why the heck it was so inexpensive but how cute is this bag right Jeff hated it because he hated the swirl he said it was really childish I thought that it was super feminine and made it more fun um like i said this bag does have this top strap that is removable it also has this long chain strap which is also removable i don't think a lot of people realize that but you can just pop this open right here and remove this strap 
and then you can buy all of those fun Fendi straps for bags like this. So like I said, this is the medium. It is much larger. The inside is micro suede lined and it is three, three, and it's two compartments. Um, right, right now I just have my makeup bag, my passport, some sunglasses and some paperwork because I went and changed my last name. I've been married for two years and I just got my last name changed. Crazy, I know. But this bag, I mean, I wanted a Fendi Kanai for years. Okay, the first time I saw a Fendi Kanai was again on one of Mel Soldera's videos and I just thought, wow, that bag is beautiful. And then this year, Jeff told me to treat myself to a little something special as he does every year and at the beginning of every year. And I chose to grab this beautiful Fendi Kanai. Like this bag is just, it's just wonderful. This bag is amazing. It's just, I mean, they even make, they make a few of them, but there's one that has the embossed FF logo all over it. I would love to get my hands on that bag. It's so good. So I will leave again, not only the specs to this bag, but the specs to all six of these bags below. If I can find them because some of them are vintage, like some of them are no longer made. The Swirly Fendi is also a bag that's no longer made. They make the Kanai and they make it in the medium size, but they don't make the Swirly. And funny enough, I haven't been able to find another one on the resale market either. I've seen them in terms of like other people having them, but I haven't found one on resale. But I will leave a few options that are similar um, in color and size and all of that. And everything that I can link below will be linked below for you guys. So thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for seeing the bags that are currently in my Lux, my Lux collection. I'll definitely be doing an updated video when I add more bags unboxings what's in my bags all of that you guys know i'm a handbag girl so queens until next time i will see you next time